Break it up. Call it again. Also, maybe there are a few more on your right side. Nope, they nope. aren't. Okay, hold and swipe on sorcery handle. Just keep holding it and uh, swipe the other ones. Yep, nothing happens. Can you go higher? Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's nothing. I didn't mean that high, I just mean uh, in the general area on the tree trunks where these generally were. Okay. Maybe you have to hit them in order, I don't know. No, when you're doing it wrong it uh, changes again. Now I remember what I actually initially wanted to ask you uh, when I made bad jokes about DBZ. Did you actually watch DBZ back then, like 10, 15 years ago? Yeah, I was very surprised when 9-11 happened and I couldn't watch my DBZ. Oh yeah, because... And then I you. stopped looking what the news were talking about and then my day was ruined. Like everyone else, uh, everyone else's. Okay, uh, actually when 9-11 happened I was um, on... Uh, School trip in England. Oh, great. Yeah. So we were in uh, just some kind of old cathedral thing or something, and uh, one of my classmates got a call from his sister because we were basically nowhere near any kind of media outlet or something like that. So we had no fucking clue what was going on until, well, end of the next day, basically, when the teachers decided to inform us because they thought that was something big enough to even just tell a bunch of shit shithead 15 year olds you know yeah one or two more and we were shithead 15 year olds to see the storm and then it will be a well every 15 year old is a shitty 15 year old yeah probably most of them are uh, remember that ingesting forest fungi may offer some new op Bleak insight on cryptozoological phenomena and such. Seek the sonorous beams oh, of the servants' hmm. brides and in forest fungi. Once you have begun a song of sorcery, you can ever so gently touch the edge of the screen to look around or Always use the, the arrow, arrow keys. keys. Well, that's helpful. And I should eat a fungus. <laughs> Eating mushrooms is great. <laughs> oh, yes. We should do that more often. Or maybe not. <laughs> How very fitting. Well, well. Oh, when I eat, when I eat them, I can see mm. what I can do. That is great. But ah, there, there's the last oh. one. <laughs> Good to know. But yeah, Good back then, back then, DBZ was the shit, but it has aged like shit. fuck. Excuse and the it. German localization is fucking shite. Uh, actually, the funny thing is that most European localizations, um, terrible dubs notwithstanding, are more faithful to the Japanese original than um, the US localization. Because the original US version of Dragon Ball Z is a fucking mess. And I mean a fucking mess. That bad? Um, first of all, you have... Um, different dubs for different eras of the show depending on which dubbing group did them with different teams of voice actors so you have um, the first part of the series which was dubbed by the, by the Saban Ocean Dub Group um, right. and the latter part was dubbed uh, by Funimation back when they started out which was one of their first big dub jobs which means it's fucking terrible Great. the new DBZ Kai dub is also by Funimation but it's fucking great because at that point the pe those people knew what they were doing and actually learned how to voice act. It's really, really fucking good. And I'm watching the English dub right now because that way I can um, partake in an actually really good dub that I can understand. Because I, I don't even actually do that. I think there is a German dub for Kai, but as per, as per usual, it's fucking terrible. Um. So yeah, I'm watching the English dub right now because it's actually really fucking good. 
and I can't send you Japanese original voices. I'm sorry, but uh, Goku's original VA. I did it! I did it! Uh, I am fucking awesome! Congratulations, Jungs! Um, yeah, I can't stand original Goku. If you're a fan, more power to yeah. you, but. Uh, oh, original Goku, I hate this voice. I don't know which crazy guy. We just walk a slumbering Sylvan Sprite beside a stolid log bridge. Don't think it's solid log bridge, whatever. Where four pairs of trees tower above a river. Um, uh, uh, but there are two other really big problems with uh, American DBZ. One is that they had uh, a script that was based on a really shitty translation of the original manga yeah. or slash anime. Um, I think um, the script that uh, most European dubs use are based on the first French translation, which actually actually is pretty alright, as far as I know. Yeah, the fan translations are not that bad most of the no, time. No, French, not French. Oh, French. French. Um, because well, of, isn't that the same? <laughs> because France was pretty much one of the first European countries to actually um, show Dragon Ball Z. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So in general, most European dubs are actually pretty acceptable translation-wise. It's just that they more often than not have really shitty voice actors. I sure hope the Scythian is on the case with the whole Sylvan Sprite thing. The storm has really been getting me down. It makes me wish that video games existed in whenever this is supposed to be. <laughs> oh my god, how self-referential. Oh, please, I... shoot me in the face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh yeah, good old ASDF movies. <laughs> oh, they're so <laughs> This is a great. robbery. Boop, 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 click. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my head <laughs> hurts. <laughs> Those were amazing. Uh, but yeah, like I said... Um, a shitty script based on a shitty translation, yeah. and there are far too many really stupid jokes in there. And of course, uh, well, the general problem that DBZ in every incarnation has is just the shitloads of filler. The shitloads and shitloads and shitloads of filler of basically episodes, is, the Namek saga is the worst. Freezer saga with episodes with barely five minutes of actually new material in them. Yeah, but the problem with fillers is that Sometimes. It's a whole it's... anime problem. Every yeah. anime has the problem with fillers. Yeah, but Dragon Ball Z is one of the first where you really, really fucking notice it. Did you know that That's in true. the original Dragon Ball Z version, um, the whole fight between Goku and Frieza from the point when Goku steps out of the healing capsule and rises at the fight with Frieza till he goes Super Saiyan and actually kicks his ass is 19 episodes. I know. 19. For DBZ Kai, they cut they cut that down to 10, I think. Oh, fuck it. And even that... Shit. And even that feels a bit long. The whole Namek arc in DBZ Kai takes, um, I think, 30 episodes or so, maybe a little more. And it still feels a little bit lengthy. Now yeah. think about, that was like 70 episodes in original DBZ. It's fucking ridiculous. Because well, yeah, there is. is nothing happening, you can easily skip two or three episodes without missing a fucking beat. And that's why DBZ Kai was so necessary. They actually cut out all of that bullshit filler that nobody ever fucking needed. Because it is really, just Oh, fucking, there it is. It's just ridiculous. It ruins the whole fucking pacing of the story. Yeah, that's true. Absolutely. We just woke a slumbering sylvan sprite between two low some rainbows by the side of the perilous precipice. Uh, but yeah, like I said, that's a general problem with DBZ that... Uh, yeah, the... That alone is reason enough for uh, Kai being better. And then, of course, the other differences depend on uh, what kind of dub you're watching, what kind of dub you grew up with. Like I said, um, most European dubs were... or European localizations were actually okay quality-wise like, with exception for mostly shitty voice actors. I mean, God fucking damn with the German dub. <laughs> God fucking damn. The only guy who actually was really good was the guy who voiced Goku, especially adult Goku. Yeah. That dude was the shit because he got the screaming down to a T. And he sang That's true. And he sang the, the German art title song. Which is not it's, that good. By the way, is something that um, the... 
that the Funimation dub of DBZ Kai is also doing. They're letting the voice actors sing the uh, intro tune. That's nice. Depending on which collection set of DVDs it is. Um, it's actually pretty nice. Also the, the, also, the new um, DBZ, DBZ Kai uh, song is actually pretty good. Dokkan Dokkan, Dragon Soul. <laughs> oh, God. They shoot me in the face. Dragon Soul. Do you know how hard, how fucking hard it is for somebody who can actually distinctively pronounce R's and L's to pronounce something the Japanese way with this in between thing they have going on? Yeah. Because they don't have distinction between R's and L's. It's kind of the same sound. Kind I know, of. it's. Yeah, it's. They don't have the one sound or the other, it's something in between. Mm. We asked the girl about the worthless sheep hanging out around the hood, and she said they had taken ri uh, fright a little while ago. We told the girl we had sent five silver sprites skyward, and she told us that perhaps a time of miracles was at hand. We thought that maybe we ought to go investigate the meadow where the sheep used to be. Um, I kind of want to know how long this will be. But, you know, uh, the big advantage of most European dubs is that at least they kept the fucking music from the original, which is not what the US version did. Get to that in a moment. Lockfeller had the feeling that it was a time for miracles, and he wondered if maybe something awesome was about to happen. Ooh, awesome! You know, I because am so awesome! I am so awesome! I am awesome! You know, because uh, the DBZ, the uh, US DBZ Kaida, uh, <coughs> DBZ dub, is from a time back when it was deemed appropriate to, you know, culturally translate Japanese entertainment because uh, what well, was just deemed too Japanese for American audiences and all this yeah. really pandering bullshit. So here's what they did. Because they, America! Yeah. They completely redid... Uh, actually, no, they didn't even redo the soundtrack. They just... Uh, gave a dude named Bruce Faulkner the job to create a new soundtrack for their version of Dragon Ball Z. But the problem is that, um, I don't know, this is going to be super fucking, um... Everything has been totally mental ever since the Scythian showed up. This whole storm thing has really been getting me down. It has been so gloomy. The rain has started to ease, and the sky seems to be brightening. Is it a time of miracles? I sure hope so. I love miracles. Well, what? The sheep in the meadow have taken fry. I wonder what's happening over there. Could it be the gold trigon? Um, okay, what I want to say. I know this is going to be super fucking controversial with our potential uh, US American viewers, but um, the falconer score is fucking shit. It's fucking, it's like, it's this kind of uh, synth rock stuff, you know, kind mm, of electronic. I'm getting a case of heebie-jeebies. Something's definitely happening. Is the storm starting to lift? You know, whenever I feel I need to gather my strength, I just sit down beside this, he this here hearth to warm my boots. And, you know, it just seems so tone deaf because it's constantly... Just more, let me read okay. this and then you can do whatever you want. Good. Once the sun is in alignment, ow, you will be granted the mir miraculous <laughs> fold in abilities of the great wizard A.I. Jeffy. L. Jeffy? L. What Jeffy. Are you feeling that peculiar vibe? It is a time of miracles. Sing a song of sorcery and look up to the looming angry bird. Actually, I think it's supposed to be pronounced Al Jaffe or something like that. Um. Well, you know, you just basically have to um, imagine you have a nice, fully orchestral original score that is replaced by some um, cheap-sounding synthesizer rock. Yeah. Um, that is constantly bearing. It never shuts up. Of course, they have kind of quote-unquote silent songs, you know, but there's always music in each and every fucking scene. Even scenes where the original Dragon Ball Z had silence for added effect, you know? There's always music, it never shuts up, and it just sounds so fucking cheap. And believe me, I've listened to a few tracks from that oh-so-great Bruce Falconer soundtrack, which a lot of American fans seem to like. It's not that good. It really isn't. Nah. 
That's shite. You know, and then there's all those people, but it makes uh, everything so bad sound so badass, and the fact that it's trying too fucking hard to be badass. Uh, it's trying way too fucking hard. I mean, if you want, we can listen to a few uh, songs from the fucking soundtrack later on, but uh, I think it's not fitting at all. And I'm just going to put this out there. If you prefer Dragon Ball Z with um, the quote-unquote original US dub and the quote-unquote original Falconer oh, music. awesome. That is really fucking cool. What the fuck? Holy shit. I don't like this ominous music. But we got the first, uh, what's it called? Trigon? Not Triforce. Trigon part. Yeah. Um... I'm just going to put this out there. If you prefer, uh, like I said, quote unquote original Dragon Ball Z US dub and the Falcon in Music score, you're not a fan of DBZ because that is not DBZ. I'm sorry, but it isn't. <laughs> Look to the heavens for some oblique insight into the workings of this miracle in the meadow, and then behold the gold trigon. Yeah, I did already did that. Oh, and also, of course, due to it being this. Typical uh, 90s radical type of music. Oh, oh yeah, you get to fight it. Yeah, that's get cool. To fight a triangle. What's cool about fighting it? Whoa! All right, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, it sounds very much like you know 90s radical. Yeah, yeah. Radical. Uh, radical. Although, in spite of Pull being, the lever. in spite of being made partially made in the early two thousands, wrap your head around that. Um, it because people were complaining that the original score just sounds so old. Well, I actually think that this synth stuff ages it far more than an orchestral score ever could. Absolutely. Ow, that was painful. I can't block that one. Can I? Yes. Skadoosh. Um, that's not nice. Uh, playing tennis with the boss. Good with a triangle, and that was too early. Alright. Mm. Come on, I know you can do Pretty this. precise. Yeah. And it's getting faster. Oh, damn it! No. It's not an easy task. Oh, looks nasty. It's too early. Oh, might we actually die here? I don't fucking know. This is so Zelda right now. <laughs> Not over yet. Oh. And I will die. <laughs> this this is really cool. Also with the ominous music and the flashes of lightning and shit. And you just got obliterated. Holy fuck. By a laser beam from a triangle. That was strange. Yeah. So what's going to happen now? We're not quite dead. Yeah, but we are flashing. Yeah, because we're almost dead. So you see, you summoned and oh. attempted to tame the gold the gold triangle. triangle, you must learn to survive the three uh. movements of its bizarre song using a mixture of attack and defense. It is absolutely okay, essential sure. that you touch and hold the shield button whenever you can in order to recover your lost strength. Yeah. So I see you've summoned and attempted to tame the gold. I have a few things to tell you. Oh, okay. All right. Sounds interesting. Maybe we yeah. should try that. But we have to block for like ages until we can. And getting our life back yeah. and hope that it works. Old shield to heal. Well, that's nice. Yeah, there we go. Life for me, not for you. <laughs> that takes considerable time. Centuries. But hey, actually, uh. At least they can heal. Yeah. yeah. And it's definitely more attractive than just, you know, auto-regenerating health. Absolutely, the file system is great. 
I mean, uh, the general setup of this, you know. I really Absolutely. Really like this. I presume the the episode is going to end after that, don't, don't uh, you? I think so. Are we ready to do this now? <laughs> no, it's much too slow. It starts off really, really slow. Yeah. yeah, this is so Zelda. I know I already said that, but it bears repeating. <laughs> it's more the like it's more like Quest for Glory. Yeah. Of course, we can already do that too. Just playing tennis with the boss thing. No, no, um, the fighting system actually. Ah, okay, yeah. Yeah, okay, I can see that. But no, I mean this general, um, you know, um, playing tennis with the boss thing. Oh. I know a lot of games did that, but I think um, one of the well, most well known instances Absolutely. Are, are Zelda games. Especially into the past with the fights against Aghanim. And of course, um, Aghanim. <laughs> I can, uh, you know where you just uh, reflect his shots back at him. Yeah, absolutely, that's true. And of course, um, from Ocarina of Time, where you actually have to do that a couple of times and back and forth with, uh, I think it was the uh, Shadow Ganon, did you think? Or was it one of the Ganon fights in Ocarina of Time? I don't know which <laughs> one right now. I can't block that. What should I do? I don't know what to do. Ah, blocking at the right time. Even with your Q. That is nice. I can't regenerate while this is happening. So, that was the second song, and now comes the third song. Maybe you should just keep your eyes peeled on the shield and so on to see which one you need to use. And you healed a bit, almost, there you did. Alright. I actually don't this have... Is creeping me out. Okay, now it's a super triforce, a triple triforce, if you will. It's yeah. mine. <laughs> a nine force? <laughs> yeah, damn it. <laughs> ah. ah, I forgot I can't. Actually, this is not easy. You know what? I believe you, and I'm not going to make fun of you for not getting this right. I know. I first know. time. I know in other games I would, but actually this doesn't look easy. Oh, so yeah, it's fun, but it isn't easy. But still beautiful. Oh yeah. I absolutely love the visuals of this game. And not just the visuals. Oh, the soundtrack is brilliant too. Yeah. And the gameplay... Quite chill most of the time. Most, most of the time! <laughs> yes, this is not chill at all. Then again, it's, it is a very, very um, interesting, you know, uh, and actually... But depending well, on actually, how long this is, uh, you will make two parts of it. Yeah, actually well realized uh, audiovisual experience. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and you know, utilizing both parts of the spectrum, you know. Absolutely. I don't really get why nobody knows, or so few know about this game. Probably because it's... Uh, just a small indie title. Yeah, it has to be something about that. Uh, something really, like that. It's really a shame. Yeah, Stuff like absolutely. That really, because you know, this is what I would call an artsy game done right. Absolutely. Because uh, the thing is, the problem with many of of those artsy games is that um, they're trying too hard. They're trying too hard, and while they may be well very nicely artsy, most of them don't bother to actually be a good game. Yeah, true. Which is a problem. There are only like a handful of actually of art games that are actually good games. You know, same with the whole yeah, walking absolutely. simulator thing. There are like three or four maybe that are actually good. Like one of good. the uh, least is uh, a Gun to the Rapture. Uh, everybody's Gone to the Rapture. Yeah, that is not a good game in um, due to the fact that it's not a game. Yeah, it's a collection of short stories. That's it's like a trip is. to a mu uh, museum. Yeah, it sh it could have been a book, it could have been a collection of short stories because nothing about it 
needs to be um, done in game form because you're basically just collecting stories. Which is sad because the idea is not that bad. Yeah, but it definitely doesn't need to be a game because uh, True. as a game it's lackluster. Compare that with the Stanley Parable, which, um, you know, the whole point of the Stanley Parable is to make a, a funny and witty comment about um, player agency and player choice, and it does that by giving you player agency and player choice, with multiple endings depend on, depending on what you do, even though you actually don't do much um, except for, you know, walking around and looking at stuff. But it's a walking simulator done right, because even when you're actually not doing all that much, except walking around and interacting with stuff, you still have choice, you still have agency in how you proceed, you know? Yep. Yeah. It's a bit like Journey. Yeah, exactly. Oh, holy shit, this is getting awesome. It's getting awesome? Yeah, I mean, it just, you know, it just ramped up the awesomeness. That's more Before like it. it. Yeah, that was fucking bitching, dude. Seriously. <sighs> now, for example, Stanley Parable. The easiest ending you can attain is a. Uh, <laughs> just don't uh, going into it. Yeah, uh, just, just, not just going. close the door. Yeah, just close the door and stay in your cubicle, stay in your little office, and that's an ending, and that's a choice that you made. And I have to say, the possibility of the uh, that you have the possibility of that choice is just great. Yeah. So, this was this part. I think we're going to make this a two part one. I think so. this is definitely going to be more than an hour. I think. Yeah. Uh, oh yes, we are awesome. We are so awesome. We probably, depending on how many people in the end will actually watch this. Like three years from now, we've got angry text. How oh, dare you say that DBZ uh, Bruce Fagan or something? Yeah, that, would, yeah. that would be so funny. And we're like, huh? What? Oh, yeah, right, back then. Did I say that? Also, did you actually know that. Um, Bravo, you have located and subdued the cosmic geometry of the Golden Trigon. Miraculously, the sinister storm has lifted and glorious sunlight has returned to the realm that's so. That's <laughs> totally awesome. It is. These heroic deeds reflect well upon your perceptiveness, intuition, and perseverance. You have done exceedingly well so far. Note, should you choose to continue the S, S, and S, EP experiment, those aforementioned core deputies will be challenged and evaluated. In any case, let's take another little break, shall we? As always, I'll be right here whenever you're ready to begin session three. Just two more things that I want to say. Um, nope, and no. Nope. Shut up. Um, in 2013, um, a new Dragon Ball Z movie came out. The actually first in canon movie. Oh. And another one came out this year. Resurrection of F. Resurrection of Frieza. Which basically makes uh, Frieza the, the arc villain of the Z saga again. Ooh, and nice. um, we actually started a new Dragon Ball series. Anime and manga. This July. Hmm. It's like maybe six episodes out in Japan and they're already planning to bring that overseas it's called Dragon Ball Super nice so that is going to be fucking awesome it will be so guys see you around bye